We're learning today Parashvayera Toshin Samachdalet from the Levi Oma Mashol Sudis the Rebbe Zetzal said Hey many Yisrael Hashem Oelai Ve'ech Yishmaini Paroi Ve'ne Yisrael didn't listen to me How will Paroi listen to me Ve'ani Aral Sosayim And I and I'm able to speak What does this mean? We have to understand that because of Yisrael that the words should enter the second person in the concept of words that go into the heart of the other person. In Egypt, we find that there were different levels among the Jewish people. From one side, we see the greatness of these are the names of Yisrael, Aboy Mitzrayim, that they kept their Jewish traditions their names and a Chazal we find also that the women were righteous in the merit of righteous women who were Yisrael were redeemed from Egypt and this is the good part of Israel this is the good aspect the good side of Klai Yisrael <coughs> however we find on the Posik Chamushim all of Bnei Yisrael and Eretz Yitzchayim, Parshas B'Shalach, Chazal tell us only one fifth went out of Mitzrayim. Why? That four fifths somehow weren't good enough to leave. Still, we have the good side and the bad side. So through that, we have to explain. But it says in the previous parasha, <coughs> when HaKadosh Baruch Hu said to Moshe Rabbeinu, he should tell Paroi to take Klai Yisrael out of Egypt, and Moshe Rabbeinu went, he said to Paroi, Hashem Yisrael, so says Hashem, the God of Israel, Shalach Azami, Fiyavduni, send my nation, they should serve me. Then Paroi answered, Lo Yadati is Hashem. And he did not know Shem Avai Yud Kei However, Moshe Rabbeinu then said, Elikeyu When he said, The God of the Jews, then, Paoli doesn't say, I didn't know Hashem. What's the difference? What's the difference between the two statements? One was that, Hashem Yisrael. Then it says, Ivrim. What's the difference between them? Look, technically they're the same thing. One is it, it's just another way of saying the other. But the reason is that in the beginning when he said Alike Yisrael, Moshe Rabbeinu's thoughts were those who were Torah, Shem Eteo Mitzvahs. That's why Paul said to them, Le'edat is Hashem. He said, the Jews that come to me are not those that have Alike Yisrael. But afterwards, he said, Alike Ha'ivrim. And it includes Klai Yisrael, those that are not Shemei Adas. And those, power he recognized. When he said Elikei Ivrim, it means Ivrim is all Jews, whatever aspect they are. Yisrael is the higher level. And therefore, power says, I, I don't know, I don't recognize these Jews. I don't I come in contact with them. But I do come in contact with regular Jews. According to what we're saying, we can understand that Mitzrayim, they needed also the Kei Yisrael, which tells us the good portion that's found in every Jew. And in the Yetzchus, the merit redemption. But you need the Kei Yisrael, that a Jew should be and remain a Jew. According to this, we can explain Haman Yisrael Hashem were alive Echishmaini Paroi. That Paroi, he is only that, and Klai Yisrael listened to him. And furthermore, we can say as far as the Kodesh Bogu says, Haman Yisrael Hashem were alive. If the Jews are not acting properly, Echishmaini Paroi. That's what Moshe Rabbeinu says. That's Moshe Rabbeinu says, if Bnei Yisrael didn't listen to me, the Jews are not acting properly. Why should Hashem Yisbuch 
here in the Bakosha of the of the regular Jews, meaning that if we don't act towards each other properly, then we don't recognize that the other Jew needs assistance, help, not only a phys- uh, monetary assistance, but another Jew needs spiritual assistance, and yeah, has to be recognized his his Jewishness has to be recognized by others so that his Jewishness within himself will grow. That's what HaKadosh Baruch Hu was asked by Moshe Rabbeinu. That's what every person has to feel, have feelings towards others and know that there are others out there who at the moment aren't worthy, but they could be worthy, especially after it sees Mitzrayim, as we start saying, by the Rosh Hashanah, if he if he was a Rosh in, in Mitzrayim, he would have remained behind in the days of darkness. But now, in the days of light, when we have the Torah, Kinei Mitzvah, Torah Oyer, then for sure we can merit that the, every person will be able to serve Hashem the way the Neshama wants, the way Hakadosh Baruch Hu wants. We say, "Hu Tegulah Shleim Me'avi Amenu Amen."